my empire. All will be built according to my command. Worry not, your majesty. Our nation has supplied Kazuwari with the best architects to have ever graced Deora. The site will be a marvel for the ages. There will be no debate. This place will be built by Hoana hands and minds, or not at all. I will hear no more of it. I am certain a compromise can be found. If I might be dismissed, I will notify my superiors at once. The floor will inevitably sustain damage, and we can't have someone seeing the conduits. I can build it however you want, but if they find out, they'll never trust us again. Our work at Okaizo would be doomed. What if Wano workers visit the site when we're laying the stone? What if someone... Okaizo will mean nothing if we cannot prove out our theories here and now. You worry about the masonry. I'll worry about the Wano. Hello, Watcher. Thank you for accepting our invitation. You stand within the Crucible's heart as one of the stewards of this place. It pains me to admit that you've caught us in a state of floundering weakness. In his desperate flailing to escape, Wahami smashed the pillar. Now the flow of souls through this place is choked, and the Crucible doomed. But now you're here, and I imagine the gods follow on your heels. Even here, we sense the Dawn Star's rise, and through our connection to Galloway, we understand his aim. Again, Ard Nua's madness strikes at the foundations of our work. Again, Aethas tears at his own heart. We built this place in part to serve as a larder if Ukaizo fell, or, for that matter, failed. Galloway will turn to protect what is his. I believe Wahami aims to ransom it. Oh, ain't a half bad plan. Except for the uh, part where he'd be taking on a god. It was his mad drive to retrieve his dead son that began this all. He proved the priests correct. In the gods' absence, Kith fear nothing save their own death. They would tear one another apart at the merest provocation and rip from the beyond the souls of the fallen. Kith believe themselves better than Wilder, better than the beasts they hunt, that Galloway protects. They are mistaken. Without the gods, society would crumble into dust. That is not ideal. By severing the Crucible's connection to the rest of the beyond, Wahami has limited Galloway's influence on Kazuwari. I can only imagine that he has sent an agent to reclaim it by force. His beast will drench Kazuwari in blood. But first, he will destroy this statue and all within it, the two of us included. Another reason, Watcher, why you must stop Wahame. That this place also serves as an island of bounty proved an unintended but desirable outcome. You may have noticed that Kazuwari is overrun with beasts of unusual size. Animals touched 
by Galloway? Such creatures were not of this island prior to the Crucible's construction. You could say it was made in your image, in a manner of speaking. Tuamawai was a mythic figure among the ancient Tuana, a great three-headed monster, the greatest of all predators. We featured it prominently in our designs here on Kazuwari, in part to appease their overbearing king. Over time, Galloway bent the figure to his purposes. He may have stolen its identity, but in doing so, he granted it a kind of godhood. So it is a god, but not a god, twisted by gods into godhood? Captain, I have many questions. What do you mean? A watcher can seek souls in the in-between, but more curiously, those souls can see them back. The mechanism within the Crucible attempts to replicate that signaling property, only without a mortal body that is susceptible to death or disease. Every hunter chases Galloway in their own way. Mine was to have Galloway come to me. Do I hear an accusation in your words? To a hunter, or a god of hunting, the term trap is no pejorative. But yes, we designed the Crucible to capture the essence of those who met defeat here, and some of the power of the victorious. It feeds off the living, too? It does not allow those energies gathered or expelled by the contenders to go to waste. Within the Crucible, today's hunters may learn, firsthand and without coddling, the lessons that slew hunters of the past. No. We were the first set to this task. Always us three. I cannot imagine it any other way. It may not even be possible to leave, but Wahami will try. Believe what you will. I served Galloway before I died, and I have served him for lifetimes since. This doesn't add up. If you've got a need to wander at the core of your soul, there's nothing worse than standing still, stagnating. The Seeking Face is a spider for a reason. There is a time to chase, and there is a time to let your prey chase you. I fear that your patron has moved beyond reason. But if anyone can command his respect, it is his chosen. Know that he lives up to his role as the slaying face. Be on your guard, Watcher. And good luck. <laughs> <laughs>